Just a little reminder for everybody too. Uh, we did say in an earlier video that when we hit a thousand subscribers, we're going to be giving away the King's stove, Yay! camp stove. So uh, this is what it is. Boom. <laughs> There you go. So we're going to be giving away that one there, or one of those, uh, when we hit a thousand subscribers. We're Yay. going to do a special video uh, and explain how we're going to be doing that. But just remember, guys, uh, please get it on out there. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Please. And all subscribers <laughs> will be in the draw to have a go and win one of those. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hi. What's the matter? I, I actually it's don't windy. know. It's a bit chilly today. It's, it's a bit windy. windy. And I just, we have so much to do, and I really <laughs> just want to be asleep in bed in a warm bed because it's, it's your cold. birthday. It's my birthday, so yes, it's my birthday today. And let's... tell everyone how wonderful your husband is. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, Helen. I thought you were going to keep talking, so I'm waiting for you to finish what you're saying. How wonderful my husband is. Yes, you got me an amazing birthday present. Thank you I very did. much. We're not going to tell, tell people what it is, are we? You're not no. going to? No, don't care. I just wanted people to know how wonderful I was. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Rightio. So thanks you want all the really, accolades? Thanks for you, really... So you, want, you want all the accolades? Well, come on. I cried no. when you gave me my present. I know, but thanks, was... for the, thanks for the big boost of like... Wow, now it looks like I'm just fishing for it. No, I thought you were still talking. Come on, please. Give me a break. I'm a bit slow, a bit older. Now, what are we doing? Um, getting some round bales out to these paddocks. Um, yep. We were meant to put them out last week, but we saw the prediction of rain. So we thought we'd hold off. And so today's the day. It's my birthday. Are we tractoring or pushing? <laughs> um, so can I drive the tractor? Do you want to drive the tractor? <laughs> It's your birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> now we just need to get some hay out to the horses. We need to put it out with the horses out the front. Um, big guys, and I think does Delilah and the goats need Delilah one? Delilah and the goats. Yeah, yeah so do your shoulder. They need one out there too. Yeah, so we need to put a fresh one out there. So we're just going to start. Um, we might have to roll a few out because it'd be easier than grabbing the tractor. But tractor's way easier. Tractor's so much easier. <laughs> I just want to get this done before it gets really cold this afternoon because it's meant to drop in temperature. I can't believe how windy it is. And it's just crazy. Yeah, it's meant to be pretty windy. So, um, yeah, Let, let's, do let's, do so let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do this. Okay, here we've got uh, the two bales over the back over here. One and two are the two we've got left. Uh, that were the, were the ones from Deanna. And I think we've got another, how many of those we got left coming? Four? Sorry. Four, Four, I think, from Deanna. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to double check with Dave. So we've got one, two, three here left from the ones we got from Adam and Viv. And awesome. we're very excited about it. I'm very excited okay. about it. Okay, this so one first? Yep, that one first. Let's get okay. it out. Radio, let's go. Nelly, you forgot your bail. <laughs> Gone. She left me. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I'm trying to flip this Can you, can you turn it? Um, how would you do that? Like this? No, no, no. Get your shoulder into the other corner, far corner. Over here? Yep. Shoulder into the shoulder. Use your shoulder. Don't use your hands. <laughs> there you go. How much easy is that? Woo! <laughs> can move around, Vale. This is so much easier for me to do it this way. It's my birthday. Shouldn't you be doing this? <laughs> yeah, you take the camera. Up. We're recording this. Thing. There we go. We should do round bow races or something. Round bow races? How fun, <laughs> How would, that fun be? would that be? I know, I come up with weird, <laughs> weird stuff. I nearly swore. <laughs> you, you're going to say the weirdest <clears throat> stuff starting with S. Yep. 
Delala. Okay. Ready for this? Not really. Oh, I'm going to get your stick ready. <laughs> She's going to want to jump on it. Can you grab some green hay? Oh, I think that might be a good idea. Because she's going to want to jump on this she's while like, we're still here. Yes. Living. You got the goats, Bruce, some sleep. <laughs> Rightio. Okay, Nettie's getting some green. Yep. What do you reckon? This is the spot? That's the spot. Walked away. This wind is ripping through. Maybe we should hold off doing the rest of the rounds. I don't think you can see that. This wind is just ridiculous. She's into it. <laughs> Yummy. Okay, right, let's go get this bit of plastic out of this paddock and then she'll be right. We'll get out of here and let her have it. Horse. Are you calling Nova a girl? Nova is a girl. Because you constantly say for the girls, and you just got to remember, he's a well, boy. We all know that the girls are way more important than the boys. <laughs> hey? Oh, Novi, did We're you hear this that? All the time. <laughs> We're told this all the time. Just because Lady is my princess and I treat her like a princess. Okay, kids. Radio, I'm going to put this down for a minute while I do this. <laughs> yeah. So what do you want to um, just on that bit of high ground just there, I think, yeah. Watch out, bubbles! Yeah, oh, lady! Oh, I just kicked the gate so hard. Oh, I just kicked the gate so hard. <laughs> hey, Novi. <laughs> Here we go. Hey Novi, spring makeovers are coming soon. What do you reckon? Hey? For these four spring makeovers. Oh, it's been coming. <laughs> oh, here comes my princess. What do you think of it, lady? What do you think? Is he looking good? Oh, CC. No biting the string. <laughs> Thank you. No biting. Hey Novi, no biting the string. Where are we at? <laughs> oh, that wind. There you go, Look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. There you go, guys. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, Novi. On, You're right, on, sweetie. Buddy. Did you get a fry? He's like, I'm out. <laughs> get in and give get it a go. Money. Get in and give it a go. Yeah. Yes. 
found a ladybug. Did you? That's very cute. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Hey Archie. Hi buddy. Where are you going? Hey Fooch. She doesn't run off and back. <laughs> Alf Archie, Alfie. <laughs> I just call him Alfie. <laughs> just wait, just wait. great jumping and performance abilities when he was younger. No. Or I'm talking about our coming plans. <laughs> we might be giving Tarquin a mare or two this season. We've just discussed this this morning. It's not an official announcement, but we are looking... So I said coming plans. And jumping. <laughs> <laughs> and he might see some of his jumping ability. <laughs> He's I a good know. horse. He's a good stallion. He's... um. He's got a lot more bone than a lot of the, um, <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, he's got more out. bone than others, has he? Yeah. Than a lot of the miniature horses that like, but I like that he's got a nice strong hindquarter and the performance ability for, um, I can't even say anything about whatever. But I'm just, I'm going with it. I've Go on, babe. so many more things to say and they're all just going to sound rude. Like, it's funny, you like, you talk like, an, like a horse person and nothing sounds anything, but you talk to a normal person. Horse people are weird. And I love you, but you're so weird. Suddenly it becomes really like, um, full of innuendos and, my goodness gracious. Anyway, so we might be we might be um, breeding a couple of foals this year. All of our stock is getting quite old. Give me, give me, give it here. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now, what's the matter? Oh, I'd like to be behind the camera. Just excuse me. <laughs> so, what's the go? Well, a lot of our stock is getting older. Like, well, we're running through ages today. Prince is 27. Dreamy's 26. You know, we're, our, our horses are aging. And Tarquin is 19 this year. And we haven't bred a horse. So the last foal we bred 
um, that was born here um, was Schooly. Now he's now owned by Katie and doing great things. Now he was born when we just came back from the hospital with Xander after we had Xander. Now, so which means he will be turning six this year like Xander is. So that was the last foal we bred. Yep. That was the end of everything. And you know, I actually gave up breeding horses for many, many reasons, but I feel like it's time. It's time. And they're purely breeding them for us to keep. They are to be maybe two, one each for the kids. We're looking at two, maybe three. Maybe mares. three, but they are to keep. They're not, and they're not for showing. Um, but Look yeah. Bigger than neighbours. Are you going up to the bike track? Is that the Browns? Hey, that'll be the Browns going up to the. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. So anyway, that's <laughs> good on them. Um, we'll hear the motorbikes. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, so that's, uh, we've only had this discussion this morning. It's quite fresh. I've, I've got a, I'm going to chat to my vet, um, have a chat to her. We haven't bred um, for six years. So yeah, I'm rambling now. I know. No, that's good. I've ju I just, I've, I've had a little bit of an idea. Beck's I've coming just, up this week. Hopefully, hopefully Beck can come out this week. I need We're going to try to get I've Beck a, on camera. Oh, I, don't, I doubt she will. But oh, I've got a couple <laughs> of things that I need to run by her with a couple of the horses, different things um, not related to this <laughs> this plan maybe breeding um but so if you look uh just beside Nettie there we're going to put up a couple of photos really quickly this is the reason why we're going to be breeding uh this one here will be cc uh, as a little foal yes there you go and so and her mum i bred as well and her mum is tilly <laughs> um and she was by an old stallion of mine um harley and so, and I had three main stallions for my stud when I was back breeding, and that was Tarquin, Harley, and Storby. So, uh, if we got a foal out of Tilly and Tarquin, That's that would be CC's my full si sibling. Full brother or sister. Yeah. Um, and I'm also thinking, I don't know whether I should say anything or not, but I'm actually thinking of putting the boy's pony in foal. Yeah. Putting Kitty in foal. Um, the plan was always to breed her to Tarquin um, and it's all gone a bit wayward and I feel like with everyone, the stallion and the mare getting a bit older now, I feel like we need to do this cross. It's now or never. It's now, it's literally, it's literally come down to the line, it's now or never. Tarquin's 19 this year um, and I feel like <laughs> he, he hasn't, um, he shouldn't have gone to retirement as early as he did. Um, you know, he's he's a great little performance horse and everything. He did well in culture. He's not, you know, he's not got the most refined structure, but I love him. His temperament is just like trainability, everything like that, and that's why I think he'll be great for the kids to have their foals because his temperament is so evident in his foals. If, we, if you could trust the kids to walk into a stallion paddock, the two stallions we have here would be the two you trust. Tarquin and Prince. Tarquin and Prince, wouldn't it? If I if I came out and saw my child had gone against all rules and walked into a paddock with the animals without us and I saw him I would not be running scared yeah. at all they so. are just their temperaments are just anyway I could talk all day about my horses like I mean I know this isn't <laughs> don't get me started about you know, this is great people love this stuff yeah maybe. you've got no choice if you're watching the channel maybe got, I mean you're you gonna like what we want to do you can so. fast forward through all of this but at the moment this is my process the bikes are right up the hill sorry um i I just got distracted by bikes but um the process is is that we've got two children who absolutely love being around the horses but one who doesn't really want to ride um and one of the mares is 26 and that's the favorite and i feel like maybe we should be breeding a younger one for him to become attached to also um you can also see the temperament of our horses you can see the uh the big boys here <laughs> eating on care. their round bale. you can see over the back paddock over there <laughs> there's uh there's kitty over there um, not really worried about anything. You can see Tarquin over He's here. Having a sleep. He even now this is him. while I don't know whether you can hear it on the camera, but the motorbikes are ripping around the back paddock from the neighbours. Now they've got a big motorbike track with the uh, with the COVID lockdown. They created a whole motorbike track because they couldn't go out to their bike parks and where they rode. And um, they're having some fun up there, babe. Got the room. They can do it. They can yeah, do what they like. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be out here in the wind, but I guess they wear all the gears. So no, they're having some fun up there. Aren't that's, they? that's fine. That's good. But, but um, yeah, they really don't bother our animals no. at all. And we're, you know, the we've got good neighbours. I know. I know. That's right. We're very lucky here. But um, temperament is, you know, 
a very very like confirmation and temperament are my two things that I've always stuck to um, and I just feel like crossing him with those two mares possibly third I'm not going to mention anything about that but you um, just had a zebra walk behind you I did don't eat that mate don't eat that buddy what are you looking for Please. hello Archie that's the um, wrapping <laughs> um, but yeah so that's that's how I feel I've just been um, I don't know how to say it the last couple of years I've, I've been rocked by a few things and I just haven't been able to now what's what's brought your confidence back for breeding at the moment like okay so uh, I don't know if I really want to talk about well I think you you got rattled by a few really bad deliveries with horses yeah. and um, some stuff going on yeah I know <laughs> sorry babe but you had exactly the same situation recently with the sheep, with other people's sheep. Yeah. Now you're going to cry on your birthday. Right? <laughs> it's okay. It's just That's twice in look, a day you've is, cried. I know. This is just, it's such an emotional thing when you're breeding animals because you're putting, like, they don't, it's completely up to you what you're doing. And you have, like, I mean, look, the outcome wasn't a bad one. Like, the outcome was a really wonderful thing, but it was really traumatic. And it really, really rattled me to to my everything, and I just, I just gave up. I just, I just sort of went, I can't do this anymore. I just can't cope with it. But anyway, so. Then with the sheep. <laughs> anyway, just so I, I don't know a lot about sheep. I'm learning as we go. Um, Beck's been great. She's, she's our vet, and she's been really supporting me and helping me out. And she'll be on the phone at all hours helping me out. We've had a couple of interesting births. Um, ourselves and then this season oh, I've been able to assist a few people with some really tricky tricky um, birthing <laughs> problems and I just I've just my confidence is just getting back up there and I just feel like I'm getting my mojo back and I think it's I think it's also you've <laughs> got you not just that you got your mojo back but you are very good at what you do and uh, also you, you keep waving it off as you're not, but you're very, very good at what you do. You're the, so you're the person that it. people call when stuff has to happen. And um, I think you've got a great team behind you. Like, I really do. With I'm, Lynn. Oh, um, Lynn, who lives down the road, love her. I know she watches our videos. She's just amazing. We're really hopeful this year. I think she's got a couple of mares due. We're really hoping that we can get one on camera for you guys because Lynn's just said if we want to come down. So I've got to get back onto her. And um, she's just brilliant, absolutely amazing. It's like all the traumatic births that I've gone through that have rattled me, she's been there right with me and just given, she's been like my biggest support. And I think and she wants to come up for a lamb birth because she's yeah, never done lambs yeah, before. Yeah, actually, so. yeah. So if we get a, another one, I'll, I'll give Lynn a call so she can come yeah. up for that. But, and, and that's what I mean, like I've got such a great you network. Got, you got Beck on call. All the time. She'll, she'll yeah. Our vet, yep, who's she, just brilliant. And she keeps me calm. She always has, like, we've been best friends since we were 10 years old. And I mean, I turned 39 today, so that, there, there's your... You don't mean to tell people that. <laughs> I don't care. I'm very proud of 25, it. I mean, 25, 25, baby. I've, I've, I've had a long... <laughs> no, no, it's for me. I'm only as old as the woman I'm feeling. Baby, you're a lot older than me. <laughs> <laughs> Saying. Anyway, um, but I've, Thanks for I've, rubbing that in. Anyway, you're an amazing husband and I love you to bits. But, um, you yes. know, I've, we've, I've got a great friendship group, a great community spirit, and we've just, I've got so much support and encouragement to get back to me. And that's what I love doing. That's, yeah. Back to me and you. There you go. Yeah, that's that's it. And that's what it's I'm all sorry, about. I know it's such a big ramble, but this everything that we're doing on the farm, like, um, you know, we're breeding out these sheep and the lambs and everything like that. And I feel like I'm actually useful because it's something that I can do and I really enjoy it. And I'm learning a fair bit about them. Like, I'm just going through it all. And, and now with the horses, I just feel like we can just get back to doing. And I think, um, I think well, I've, I've personally really pushed to push you out of your comfort zone with some stuff. Yeah. And I think you've done really great things with that. You've been like, very I'm, proud of you, babe. I'm even passionate about hatching out these chicks and just getting back into things that I feel, I mean, I'm more comfortable with the breeding side of things and everything like that. And I just, yeah, I don't know. We all have a purpose and what we want to do. And I just feel like it's all coming together. And I just can share it with everybody because I'm just so excited. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> Nettie's excited. Let's go and finish our work, eh? We've really got to do some I'm sorry for the ramble. I hope Adam cuts most of that out. I'm not. I'm going to put that in its entirety because so I think people... And I just... I feel like I'm so passionate about everything we're doing. And if like, you don't like this part of the video, guys, it's Nettie's birthday. She can say whatever she likes. So it's my birthday. I can ramble if I want to. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. But anyway, so we, and, and other than what we've just rambled about, we've got lots of exciting stuff happening. So I can't wait to share it all with you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Go. Look what we got here. One of our pumpkins. This is one of the small ones, and we're going to break that open because we're having a roast for Nettie's birthday tonight. Yay. Now, do you have a look in the oven real quick? Look down in there. Look at that. Here, yeah. oh, just quick little look. They are roast lamb, shoulder of lamb, phoned out, ready to go. One of ours. It is one of ours, and we're going to crack this open pumpkins. here. So, how do you want to go? Straight through the guts, and then <laughs> get all the seeds out. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you have a board? <laughs> ah, there we go. Right, move candy. Candy. There we go. There we go. There's our pumpkin. And, um, I think there's plenty of pumpkin in there for us for tonight. What do you reckon? I think there's enough for us. I might collect these seeds for our other little project too. Yeah, why not? Yeah, Sounds good. <laughs> cool, babe. Here we go, roast lamb and Nettie's birthday dinner. So you wanted some roast lamb, the shoulder of lamb, all cooked up there. We've got gravy and we've got veggies and we've got yummy, yummy goodness. And are you happy? Very, I love lamb. <laughs> So one of Nettie's favourite things is ice cream cake. So we've got a one, and we've just got to. Um, she doesn't know she's getting one. And she should be on her way up now, is she, Sue? Okay. Ready? Here it goes. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nettie. Mummy, and I love you. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip, hooray! Hip hip, hooray! Hip hip, hooray! Woo! Ice cream cake! Surprise! It may have melted by now. Oh, goodness me. Wow. Blow out your candles. Oh, look at that. You left one. Did I? Well, close enough. We just have to kiss the dearest boy. Okay. <laughs>